Hey guys, in this video, we'll take a look at ChatGPT designing a software system. Yes, that's right. Let's get started. All right, here we are. So we will give ChatGPT a fictitious problem. So let me ask the question, design a software system that has a web application and accept payments. So I'm going to expect it to design a back end, a front end, some sort of an interface, an overview, but let's see the type of answer it gives and then let's try to work from there. So the first thing it says is choose a programming language and framework, which is kind of okay. Uh, and then it says design on a payment gateway, which is also okay. Set up a database, build a user authentication system, good. Implement payment gateway functionalities very very good test and deploy pretty 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 good uh let's 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 go more deeper and talk about the technology choices it would make uh let's ask describe the technology choices in lot more detail i am not a prompt engineer but let's see what this gives uh so now it's gonna go deeper in the programming line choices and the frameworks so when it, it it's it's recommending python with flask or django that's quite good uh ruby on rails quite quite good choice node excellent but i think what it's trying to do is it's list out everything and payment gateway it's trying to include the popular payment gateways and it knows so let's go more specific and let's try to understand if it can is really really scale up the system right if it can give us millions of the user uh, and ask it to stop so can this system support millions of users uh well let's see what it says the ability of yeah including various hardware infrastructure i think the the argument is fine but Let's look at the key factors, right? Use a cloud-based infrastructure, very generic. Use a distributed architecture. Now that's where uh, things get interesting. Implement caching, good, good. CDN, very good. Optimize database performance, true. Let's go more specific and let's try to understand how can it do distributed architecture. So let's ask it, describe the distributed architecture and uh, also explain how would you implement caching right so this is important to understand how the users are cached how calls are cached what about payment conciliations reconciliations you know feedback url stuff like that so let's see what it dist talks about a distributor architecture i think a load balancer quite 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 basic so i i'm either not asking the right prompts or i think uh, it's it's not tuned to very specifically get into architecture conversation but i think it's giving good overview on a skeleton to build upon so it has talked about load balancer microservices message broker database these are all uh, good answers but i'm not really seeing the distributed part of it uh, multi node uh, or any any specific technology choices like kubernetes and all that maybe the articles that uh, was used to train chat gpt till 2021 or i think it's 2020 whatever is the time frame did not had popularity but and let's see on caching it's identify frequency so this is again a very generic implementation of uh, frequency or of, of how to implement caching let's let's go and give it a different problem design let's give it a design a banking erp and its modules let's give it a crazy large question and see what it can come up <clears throat> it creates a comprehensive oh good now this is actually much nicer than the previous one it's describing the modules so what i can gather is that it is good and in giving it an outline and a skeleton and at a high level it's it's very nicely describing the module so this is nice it's talking about the account management loan management payment wealth management compliance reporting these are these are really really good uh, problems to discuss and talk about so so quite nice there now if we ask it to convert it into technology i think we saw that it is able to give a good outline but uh, the outline is 
you know uh, still superficial and doesn't go much lower than that maybe if i ask more specific questions it would be able to give it so yeah that's how chat gpt performs i think it's a good uh, companion to have a conversation about uh, if if you want to see more chat gpt videos if you want to have a specific question you want me to talk through with chat gpt do talk about subscribe to cafe io bye bye